What is ransomware? Ransomware is a type of malicious software or malware for short. Ransomware may present itself in a few different ways, affecting individual systems as well as networks of business, hospitals, airports, and government agencies. Ransomware is being constantly improved and is getting more and more sophisticated since the first registered occurrence in 1989. While simple formats are typically non-encryption ransomware, modern ransomware makes use of cryptographic methods in order to encrypt files, making them inaccessible. Encryption ransomware may also be used on hard drives as a way to completely lock a computer operating system, preventing the victim from accessing it. The final goal is to convince victims to pay for a decryption ransom, which are usually requested in cryptocurrencies that are very hard to trace. However, there is no guarantee that payment of the ransom will decrypt your information. The popularity of ransomware has grown significantly in the last decade and is a financially motivated cyber attack. Ransomware is currently the most prominent malware threat in the world. How is malware distributed? Phishing. In the context of ransomware, phishing emails are one of the most common forms of malware distribution. The victims usually get infected through compromised email attachments or links that are disguised as legitimate. Within a network of computers, one single victim can be enough to compromise a whole organization. Exploit Kits An exploit kit is a package made of various malicious tools and pre-written exploit code. These kits are designed to exploit issues and vulnerabilities in software applications and operating systems as a way to spread malware. Insecure systems running out-of-date software are the most common targets. Malvertising Attackers making use of advertising networks to spread the ransomware through infected advertisements. How can you protect yourself from ransomware attacks? Use external sources to back up your files regularly, so you're able to restore them after a potential infection is removed. Be cautious with email attachments and links. Avoid clicking on ads and websites of unknown sources. Install a trustworthy antivirus and keep your software applications and operating system up to date. Enable the Show File Extensions option on your computer settings so you can easily check the extensions of your files. Avoid visiting websites that are not secured by an SSL by checking that the URL begins with HTTPS. Keep in mind, however, that many malicious websites are implementing the SSLs in order to confuse victims, and an SSL alone does not guarantee that the website is legitimate or safe. Visit nomoreransom.org, a website created by law enforcement and IT security companies working towards the disruption of ransomware. The website offers free decryption toolkits for infected users as well as prevention advice. A few ransomware examples. Grand Crab 2018 First seen in January 2018, the ransomware made over 50,000 victims in less than a month before being disrupted by the work of Romanian authorities along with Bitdefender and Europol. Grand Crab was spreading through malvertising and phishing emails and was the first known ransomware to demand a ransom payment in Dash cryptocurrency. The initial ransom varied from 300 to 1500 US dollars. WannaCry 2017, a worldwide cyber attack that infected over 300,000 computers in four days, WannaCry propagated through an exploit known as Eternal Blue and targeted Microsoft Windows operating systems. The attack was stopped due to emergency patches released by Microsoft. Bad Rabbit 2017, a ransomware that was spread as a fake Adobe Flash update that was downloaded from compromised websites. Most infected computers were located in Russia and the infection was dependent on manual installation of an executable file. The price for decryption was roughly 280 US dollars at the time. Locky 2016 Usually distributed by email as an invoice requiring payment that contained infected attachments. In 2016, the Hollywood Presbyterian Medical Center was infected by Locky and paid a 40 BTC ransom, 17,000 US dollars back then, in order to regain access to the hospital's computer systems. For more information about security and other interesting topics, don't forget to watch our other videos on Binance Academy.